This week on Tech Wrap, leaked photos of Nokia's 41 megapixel PureView 808 successor surface online. We show you how to share your mood on Facebook. And just months after the release of the Omega HD, Cherry Mobile releases the Omega HD 2.0. Find out what's new. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and this is TechRap, your weekly source for tech news, gadget reviews, app recommendations, and social media tips. Let's start this week off with a rumor, shall we? This one is about a new Nokia phone. Let me break it down for you. In January of 2012, Nokia released the PureView 808, a smartphone with a 41 megapixel sensor. That's amazing, considering today's most sophisticated smartphones have at most 13 megapixels. 16 months later, and Nokia has yet to release a successor to the PureView 808. In November of last year, Nokia also updated its Windows Phone 8 powered flagship smartphone, the Lumia 920. The smartphone boasts of one of the best cameras in the market today with unrivaled optical image stabilization. Earlier this year, rumors surfaced that Nokia was planning a range of aluminum smartphones, one called Project Catwalk, and another, the Nokia EOS. Last month, Project Catwalk became a reality. The Nokia Lumia 925 improves on the Lumia 920, and instead of a polycarbonate shell, it comes with an aluminum chassis, which leaves us with one rumor unfulfilled the one that we are most excited about. This week, photos from two different sources online surface. The phone looks to have an aluminum frame also, possibly a Xenon flash, which also made a comeback in the Lumia 928, and what looks like a bigger camera. While it doesn't protrude as much as the PureView 808, the bulge is, so to speak, is still obvious. Photos also reveal the phone will run on Windows Phone 8. But hey, like any other rumor, take this one with a grain of salt. We're definitely excited and we'll keep you posted. Barely three months since the launch of its flagship smartphone, the Omega HD, Cherry Mobile releases an updated version of the phone, the Omega HD 2.0. There's nothing different on both the inside and the outside except for a processor speed bump. The Omega HD 2.0 runs on a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor, unlike the dual-core processor of its predecessor. Both phones are still available. The original Omega HD cost 7,999 pesos, while the 2.0 is 1,000 pesos more. For more on the Omega HD 2.0, check out our unboxing video on Rappler.com, or you can also click on the thumbnail right here. You might also want to check out our Omega HD versus Star Mobile Diamond Smartphone Battle uh, on TechRap. You can visit that uh, or check out that video on Rappler.com. If you aren't on the popular short video sharing social network Vine, then here's another reason why you should reconsider. This week, Vine launches its Android app after it says it has reached its 13 million user mark. In the spirit of the 140 character limit of Twitter's take on Instagram, but for video, it allows users to upload only six second video clips. It's amazing the creative videos that people have put together under six seconds. Here are some of our favorites. Vine for Android has one feature not yet available on the iPhone, and that's the ability to zoom. But it's still missing a few features that were introduced in a recent iOS update, among them support for the front-facing camera and hashtags. Android users also cannot search and post Vine videos to Facebook. Just weeks before its London Premier 2013 event, and a week after it unveiled the Galaxy S4 Mini, Samsung officially introduces the much talked about rugged version of its flagship smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S4 
active. The phone is both dust resistant and water resistant with its IP67 rating from the international standards body. The phone is rated to survive being submerged underwater for 30 minutes and up to a depth of one feet. We received various reports about the phone spec, so we're really happy to report that the phone matches the S4 spec per spec, including a 1.9 gigahertz quad core processor, a five inch full HD display, a 2,600 milliampere battery, and LTE connectivity. So what's different? The S4 Active will not sport the 13 megapixel main camera found on the original S4. Instead, it will have an eight megapixel shooter that comes with a new feature called Aqua Mode, exclusive only to the S4 Active, by the way, which is said to improve underwater photo and video performance. To stay water resistant, the phone includes port covers for the headphone jack and the micro USB charging port. It is unclear if the phone will still have the same polycarbonate shell, but the photos do reveal that users can still snap off the back plate to insert a SIM and an optional micro SD card and a battery. The phone will go on sale in the US and Sweden this summer and will be available in three colors, not including the red version that we saw in the leaked photos and videos. No word on pricing at the moment and when the rest of the world will get it, but considering it's basically a waterproof version of the totally awesome S4, it's one you should highly consider. If you're a Rappler fan, then this will sound a bit familiar. Facebook is slowly rolling out a new feature on its status box, giving users the ability to pick from a range of emotions. Click how you feel and your vote comes down to the mood navigator that's in the middle of the front page. That crowdsources the mood of the day. While Rappler gives you eight emotions to choose from and in reaction to how you feel about stories, Facebook is a bit more liberal, allowing you to choose from 40 different emotions, ranging from basic happy and sad to sick, loved, and my favorite, sexy. Once you get the feature, it's easy to share how you feel on Facebook. In the status box, click on the smiley, then feeling, then pick an emotion. Then type in a message or upload a photo and click post. You can associate a mood to every single post you make on Facebook. Facebook also gives you get glue-like features where you can check in when you're watching a movie or a TV show, listening to music, or playing a game. You can also share your mood on Facebook directly from Rappler. After you vote on our mood meter, you get the option to share your mood on Twitter and on Facebook, and you'll get these cute avatars when you do so on Facebook. And that was TechRap. If you've been closely following the TechRap Samsung Galaxy S4 giveaway, then I'm pretty sure you already know who the winner is. We've posted the results along with a video of our whole raffle proceedings on rappler.com last Thursday. But just in case, congratulations, Anthony Gagliardo. You're the winner of a brand new Samsung Galaxy S4. Congratulations. For the latest news updates, follow rappler.com on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Google+. And Instagram. I also don't mind being your 24 7 tech hotline. So if you have any tech questions or you just need help picking out a gadget, then send me an email. I'd love to help. If the email address is techwrap at rapper.com, or if you would much rather talk to me on Twitter, you can do so using the hashtag techwrap. All I ask is that if you love the show, then share it with all your friends on social media. We love you a lot, and we'll, if you didn't win, in this particular raffle, then we'll try to get uh, more gadgets to give away on the show. Till then, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.